Christina, thank you. Now let's welcome board certified OBGYN, Dr. Greg Marchand. Uh, good afternoon, doctor. Um, you're in Arizona. Uh, there's a ballot measure this fall also uh, in Arizona. And um, I wanted to find out from you, do you have patients that have become, have started talking about this issue more? Are they nervous about what is now, about what is likely to come? Give me a feel for what people are talking about there. Absolutely. Um, yes, this is a topic that a lot of patients are asking about, and unfortunately, that's going to be because there's a lot of misinformation out there, um, and especially this ballot measure that's going on in Florida. Uh, this is one that's very likely to pass when given to the entire population, even though it's extremely radical. Uh, as President Trump said, he's not in favor of the six-week ban. He wanted a little more time, because as you know, he does favor the decision going to the states, not being a national-level decision. You know, he favored Roe v. Wade being overturned, which, you know, corrected that era of saying there was something in the Constitution uh, that gave a right to abortion. Um, so uh, in, in that same stance, he feels six weeks could be a little bit too soon for someone to realize, but he's certainly not in favor of Florida Amendment 4, as he just recently said, uh, you know, that amendment would give people the possibility to have abortion right up until 24 weeks. Uh, those are going to be babies that have up to a 70% chance of survival if you just went ahead and delivered them instead of aborting them. And in Arizona, we're seeing the same kind of thing where patients are asking questions um, there wasn't a very big change in Arizona. Uh, we had already had a limit at 20 weeks. Uh, so when it became a little bit sooner than that, it wasn't that big of a change. And patients that want to have abortions after that time limit could simply go to any bordering states, uh, such as California or Nevada. Uh, but, you know, in these circumstances, there's always a lot of fake information. And unfortunately, that's something that panics people. And that's unfortunately a tool the liberals sometimes use in order to get these voters uh, to vote for these extreme measures, killing babies up to 24 weeks when I think otherwise, if the population really understood, they would say that's not what they really want for their community. Yeah, and by the way, as we talk about this, uh, I don't want to show any insensitivity or, uh, or, or be flippant about this topic because there are many people when it comes to abortion believe that life begins at conception and that's it. And there should be no opportunity, um, with a couple exceptions, of course, um, but let me ask you this, when the Arizona proposal, I believe, the ballot measure, would be to the point of viability. You mentioned 24 is way too far down the line. Um, without being um, too crass about the conversation, at what point uh, is there viability now? Because it seems like with our capabilities technically now versus back in the 70s when Roe v. Wade was passed, which also talked about viability. Viability must be getting closer and closer uh, to that point of conception uh, because there are ways to, to deal with this, I'm assuming. Correct me if I'm wrong, anywhere there. No, you're, you're absolutely right. And there's actually some incredible work being done in Iowa right now. Uh, they're working on extremely preterm babies and, and saving the lives of preterm babies as young as 22 weeks. Uh, so viability is certainly not clear cut across all different doctors and all different communities. Uh, now, both of the laws you're talking about, Florida and Arizona, uh, are going to are going to be uh, referencing the physician taking care of you. So it will be individualized for the physician taking care of you. Uh, and I guess that that may be the best way to handle things. Leave it between uh, the woman and her doctor. Um, but nonetheless, we're still talking if these doctors uh, consider 24 weeks to be viability, which which it is in many areas. Uh, we're talking about killing a baby that otherwise could survive outside of the mother probably at about the same time. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about IVF. Uh, I happen to know something about this. Uh, my wife and I have daughters uh, utilizing that procedure. And it was a shock to us as well as many other people when the issue came up uh, that this was a problem with many pro-life people. I'm not saying everybody, and I don't want to discard the argument. Uh, but what's your take on IVF a as a process to utilize and whether you think it's, it's appropriate? Well, in vitro fertilization and all of the assisted reproductive technologies are great, and they're, they're getting better and better every day. Um, I, I don't really see a lot of pushback. I don't see a lot of pushback from conservatives or Republicans. Um, there are certainly some people that have uh, very deep religious views about this particular practice, uh, but, but that is more rare among the American population. Uh, most of the patients I see and the other physicians I talk 
concern as to whether IVF should be free. Um, I'm a little bit worrisome about whenever a handout or an entitlement is, is included because the big question is who's going to pay for it. Even if it's something to, you know that can be wonderful as it was for you with IVF, I'd still get worried about who's footing the bill for this and, and are we putting everything on the taxpayer as they do in a socialist system. Yeah, because it is an expensive process, and uh, my wife happens uh, to be a teacher, and it have to be covered by the insurance company. Of course, insurance companies make money uh, uh, with premiums covering all kinds of other things. Uh, so, uh, thanks for educating us here, Doctor. I appreciate it. It's a, again, I, I, it's a, um, I, I want to be careful talking about this. Don't want to show any disrespect toward anyone's beliefs. But it is something that people are talking about now, and it is a political issue. So thank you for shedding light on it. Thanks for having me. Dr. Bashan. Uh, still more ahead on national deaths. Stay with us more when we come back.